that's the longest absolute file path. Uh, this is from the medium bucket. Uh, I'll read the sum. Uh, suppose we abstract our file system by a string in the following manner. There's a string which the dir slash n slash t subdirectory one slash n slash t subdirectory two slash n slash t file dot ext. Uh, basically, you have a directory. Under that, you have two subdirectories, subdirectory one and subdirectory two. And under subdirectory two, you have file dot ext. Okay. Uh, so what they want is to find the length of that absolute path. We are interested in finding the longest number of characters, absolute path to a file within a file system. For in the second, so they have another second example as well, where they have directory then parent directory, then they have two subdirectories, subdirectory one and subdirectory two. Under subdirectory one, they have a file, file1.ext and another sub subdirectory. And the subdirectory two, they have another sub sub subdirectory two. And under that you have a file two dot extension. Okay, so what they're saying is in the second example above, the longest absolute path to a file Okay, is directory slash subdirectory two slash sub subdirectory two slash file two dot extension and its length is 32. So we have to return the length of the longest absolute part to a file in the abstracted file system. If there is no file in the system, you have to return zero. Okay, so let's say in the second example, there were two files, file one dot extension and file two dot extension. The file one dot extension was going two steps, directory one and subdirectory one. Whereas file two dot extension had three levels, directory, subdirectory two, and then sub subdirectory two, and then file two dot extension. So that is the longest path. So we have to return the length of that longest path. So, any question on the problem? I will take that as no question. Has anyone solved this? Any approaches? I tried one approach, uh, but I, I had one problem with that, but I'll still discuss what I tried. Okay. So, what I did was like I kept a track of a level variable, mm -hmm. right? Which is the directory level that I am, which initialized with zero. So what I did was after finding, like after like every slash in, like I I am keeping a stack of what current folders that I am going into. So let's say at first I'll just push dir, okay. Oh. Then after the first slash in. I'll increase if I see like I know because of the format of the string like w the path goes like it goes like first you go down it's a traversal kind of a thing so you go bottom so after this I find the level which increases so let's take the first example so I see slash t so I push the sub dir1 into the stack okay now my level is 1 okay so if i if if i want to go deeper so i'll need to see there there should be like it should be in the second level if there is a file in the second level there would be two slash t's but mm -hmm. so in the next part of the string i see only one slash t so i pop that out because i haven't reached to an end terminal condition which is like having a file named having a string which contains a dot Okay. Ext, ext part so i'll pop that out and then i'll push sub dir2 okay, okay. Mm -hmm. and then when i after that i'll see that the level is correct so now my level should be two and i see two slash t's in it mm -hmm. okay and then after that i if i find a terminal condition i'll keep popping this whatever mm -hmm. is in my stack and i'll calculate the i'll keep on summing the count of the length whatever the length is and i'll store it as a max okay 
and if there is still string beyond that i'll be at that level from where i need to push the child of mm-hmm. the next directory mm-hmm. so that's what i tried one problem that i was facing is if i was having like two files at the mm-hmm. same level mm-hmm. so i was popping like for the same file and calculating the length Mm-hmm. and the second file was also in that directory only but mm-hmm. it might have a longer name yeah. so that was the edge case that i was failing at but this was the approach like if the all the files are in distinct levels then i'll be able to find whatever the longest path is yeah yeah i think that sounds correct um i haven't solved this sum but i was thinking of another approach but i want to see if other people have solved using any other approach anyone else who has solved this problem using other approaches or want to elaborate more how can we solve this edge case no one okay the way i was thinking was actually uh, calculating the absolute path every time this is what this is a naive approach uh, because tag didn't come to my mind immediately so what i was doing was actually calculating the absolute path for each file okay and then comparing the lengths uh that was my idea Oh, I started solving, but I was getting stuck at multiple places. But that was my approach for this problem. But I I did see a lot of people using stack in this course. Um, anyone else who has solved this problem? No one. the stack definitely makes sense because of, you know the any file any file uh, like you know whole file dot txt it needs to know like you know the length till its parent for sure and mm-hmm. uh, you can store that in your stack when you are working on that any particular file so the approach i i think it looks good to me uh, i don't know what was the uh, edge case i couldn't follow that path and so i have uh, so uh, so what i was doing was i was like the main issue was i after reaching a file in i when i found a file in the string so i was popping my whole stack and then adding up the lengths to calculate the max the length of the path so what i was the problem was if there are like two files let's say dir sub dir1 there is file 1.txt and there is file 23.txt so by the time i would have gone gotten to file 1.txt i would have popped my stack and like then found the parent so that was the issue i guess okay yeah like so in the stack you normally see like approach wise you normally keep some element or any value which you need in uh, future right yeah that that's the purpose so here the purpose is you want to have the length somehow stored when you are working on your child like what was the length till parent for sure right yeah and also level wise the uh, approach is pretty good because there are there could be many level so yeah yeah so when you are working on one of the child uh, there could be multiple parents on the same level so you have to make sure that every child gets like you know his parents value length as, as yeah as i uh, i yeah i got it instead of storing the path i'm storing in the stack i should store the length that i have calculated 
till now right. and then just push it in that and then just see till now what the length of the is it is after adding the file name length right and continue updating your max as you are doing the traversal yeah, if, yeah. You, if you find it better. so approach looks good to me yeah any any other approaches anyone else has solved this problem by any other way okay i guess no response i'll take this is our approach what will be the time complexity on a, of the solution that you recommended uh i am just iterating over the string so like internal like i'll need to check like if the next string is slash n or like i just need some pattern matching things yeah like right. that that that's the only time control but it's o of n only if yeah. i find a backslash then i check the next character if it's a slash and a lot of switch cases there but it's a single i am just going through all characters once only yeah okay that makes sense and since you are use and the o of space complexity would be o of n like it could be continuously directories subdirectory 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 and uh, like not o of n it's like the here n would be the number of levels which is rooted the file is rooted in okay so you could keep pushing those directories into the stack sub directories any any question on that now i guess i'll move to the next problem uh, 